Good morning, adventurers. Good morning, and welcome to South Dakota. We're gonna be starting our trip right here in South Dakota's largest city, Sioux Falls. Over the course of the week, we're gonna make our way out west and make as many stops as we can along the way. Of course, South Dakota is known for some amazing nature, just like this, so we're gonna be squeezing in as much of it as we possibly can. It's also famous for this mountain with a bunch of guys' heads on it. I don't know, maybe you've heard of it? Just kidding, it's friggin' Mount Rushmore, you guys. We're gonna see tons of incredible wildlife, like this little fella. We've got our trusty camper van that's gonna be our wheels and our home during this journey. And uh, I guess that's it. Let's go see South Dakota, you guys. We are starting our journey here in Sioux Falls. Also, happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. Today is the 4th of July, you guys. It is a hot one, but... Yeah, there's a heat advisory today, actually. It's supposed to be 105. Yeah, Woo! but that's not gonna stop us, dang it. <laughs> we are gonna see this city. The first thing we wanted to scope out is the Sculpture Walk. They have over 60 sculptures that you can walk through the downtown strip and check out. Some of them are incredibly intricate. I love the tiny little detailed ones. Those are my favorite ones. Oh, really? I like the big old suckers. Oh, yeah? Well, they have, <laughs> they have a mix of both, you guys. Yeah. So that's the plan. We're gonna see as much of the city as we can. We're gonna eat some delicious food. Try not to melt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a, I don't know if I can promise that one, but, and then I think we're going to end the day with an awesome fireworks show, hopefully. Yes. I don't know why we're walking that way. There's a statue of a dinosaur over there that we saw. That's what we want to see. <laughs> ever wonder why the city is called Sioux Falls? Well, it's because of these, the falls. <laughs> Not it's... because somebody clumsy was named Sioux? And fell? Yeah, a Good lot. one. <laughs> we are actually standing smack in the middle of the Big Sioux River, which runs through Sioux Falls. But this spot right here is what the city is named for. These are the falls. You can see it's all rocky and it has all these different levels. So the water just rushes through here, creates all these different waterfalls of varying sizes. And I'm wondering if the water sometimes gets a lot higher than this and you can't actually stand here, but right now you can go anywhere. You can literally walk anywhere you want to. No one's here to stop you. Nothing's roped off. It's sweet. This is super cool, you guys. We've got this little family of ducks over here. I just assume that they're a family. <laughs> Either way, they're freaking adorable. There's so much room to roam where you can, like this, you can just completely get away from people. It's wild, because you can see the buildings of downtown just over there, but then this, you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere in like a nature park. It's one of the least city-like cities that we've been to. It's very cool. conquered the falls you guys yes and nobody fell in yeah what nobody fell day. at the falls has <laughs> <laughs> that gotten old yet <laughs> it's almost dinner time and we have found a really cool place that i think is going to be very delicious Ooh, it's gonna be so good yeah, we're actually crazy excited about it <laughs> but we'll see you there It is officially dinner time and we found an amazing place called Rome and it's this huge kind of like industrial warehouse, wooden storehouse. Yeah, it feels like we're in a wine cellar or a whiskey storehouse or something. Yeah, something like that. Definitely a place where you want to uh, sip some whiskey, which Eric is doing right over yes. there. <laughs> but this place is known for wood fired items <laughs> and they actually have this big pit over there where they are smoking some chickens right now over an open flame and it looks so good that we had to try these. These are their smoked chicken wings. They grill them over an open flame and then it's their I guess signature herbs and spices sauce. Here's to deliciousness. Yeah. Your dad tells me. Oh baby. 
Yeah. Do I have sauce all over my face right now? Nope, you're good. Okay, <laughs> look at me. They are smoky, they're a little sweet, they're spicy, there's so many herbs in there. The chicken is so juicy and tender in there. I don't know, <laughs> this is like a whole meal already. I don't know how we're gonna eat our food after this. Our plan is to take this away because we have a fridge in the van. We do, so this will be midnight snack. theme of tonight is meat. Meat on meat on meat. You guys, holy cow, look at all this food. So Allison actually got the cornbread and sausage that's over some sauerkraut, and it looks freaking incredible. I think I might've won. I ended up going with the beef brisket. So this is cooked over an open flame. They have some cornbread that comes with it, and some, and I got macaroni as the side. <laughs> it just sounded so good. This brisket looks amazing. You can see the meat there and then this bit of fat on the outside of it, all this char, all these little burnt ends right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, it just falls apart too. <laughs> it's so brittle, it's hard to even put on the fork. Brittle brisket, eh? Mm. Oh, that brisket is incredible. It just completely melts in your mouth. You can taste the flame on it. The layer of fat on there is just so freaking creamy and so full of flavor. Mm. But we're gonna try to eat this kind of quickly because we wanna make it to the fireworks display tonight and get a decent parking spot or stake out a, a place. We're not really sure what to expect. So Probably gonna fail miserably. Maybe, sadly. but fingers crossed we can get there and we can see some fireworks. All right, see you later. <laughs> Did that Did work? Did we get cornbread on the way? No, I don't think I touched it. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, whatever. <laughs> made it to the fairgrounds. They got a band over there playing a bunch of patriotic numbers, red, white, and blue as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Classic 4th of July vibes here. Yo, I don't know that we have ever been this close to a fireworks display no. though. They're setting them off right there. <laughs> right there. I don't know if this is too close, if it's like getting the front row at a movie where you're gonna hurt your neck, but I'm all for it. Yeah, America. Here we go. <laughs> Well, that was just tons of fun, y'all. I can't remember the last time we went to a proper fireworks show. Yeah, that was super cool. It's actually been years. I think we've just always been traveling during the 4th of July and yeah. haven't, haven't been able to make time for it, but I'm glad we did. We're leaving Sioux Falls today, but before we head out of the area, there's one last thing that we want to see. The Devil's Gulch. Dun, dun, dun. Now you don't have to put an ominous music because I did it for you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> September 1876. Jesse James had just robbed a bank and was fleeing the law when he came upon the Devil's Gulch. He had two options, turn and face the law or jump it. And guess what he did? He friggin' jumped it. He rode his little horse and was like, pew, like a rocket man over it. <laughs> just kidding, that's how the legend goes. It is highly contested, but fun fact, the longest jump via I guess man on horse, is actually 10 feet longer than that gap. Yeah. So it is quite possible that he escaped via jumping the Devil's Gulch. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Tell, tell us if you think that he made this jump on horse <laughs> or not. <laughs> and would you do it to evade the law? I, I don't know. I might just go live out my days in the jail. <laughs> the Gulch is so cool. You guys, look, it's this awesome canyon that we have completely to ourselves. There's barely another soul here. We've only heard other people. Yeah, and it's even a holiday and there's nobody here. Yeah, but the coolest part is that there's a bunch of birds nesting right there. So the nests are all built into the cliffside. They're full of little baby birds and I guess the mama birds flying to and fro, bringing food to them or something. Oh man, I don't know, but they are super chatty and it's really fun to watch. They get really like animated every once in a while and they all go zipping all around yeah. and they look like they're gonna hit you, but 
All right, we're gonna explore the gulch a bit more and then we're gonna be hitting the road and heading to our campsite for the night, which is about an hour and a half away, so we can't spend too much time. But I guess that's it. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's enjoy, er, oh. time to enjoy the Devil's Gulch. <laughs> Sometimes we literally just don't know what to say. <laughs> Insert clever transition right here. <laughs> What's our RV doing here? Can you guys believe this? We found an exact version of our RV. That is the exact model. <laughs> it's so rare that we find a Coachman Leprechaun that looks so much like ours. Usually they're all subtly different or like different versions or different models, I don't know. Bye bye little Leprechaun. We'll see you soon, or at least our version of you. We made it to our next campsite, you guys. Check it out. We're right on the water. This is a Lake Poinsett recreation area. This apparently is one of the largest lakes in the state, which looking at it, it makes sense. It is very huge. Yes. And there's even like baby waves and there's some sand. Almost feel like I'm at the beach. But the drive here was awesome. The sun was setting and there's just hay bales as far as the eye can see. And we saw deer, we saw cows. We saw storks, we saw it all. Yeah, it was great. But all right, we're gonna go get settled in for the night and uh, call it a day, I think. Oh. Good day. A good day, yeah. maybe a great day. We left our campsite bright and early today, you guys. We have a long, long journey heading out further west. But before we get out there, y'all, we had to stop and check out the prairie land. We are actually in the town of Desmet, which mm -hmm. is famous for a certain person, and maybe you've heard of her. A little Miss Laura Ingalls. Her and her family lived here. She is, of course, famous for the Little House series of books. The Probably the most famous one is Little House on the Prairie because mm -hmm. they made a TV show about it. They did. Yes, which I've never actually seen. <laughs> but you used to watch it, right? Yeah, I had the whole like book set when I was little. My little diary was a Laura Ingalls one with like a homestead on it. But this is neat, a piece of like living history. Their plot's still here. A lot of the buildings are still here. This is so cool. Little Allison is living out her best life here. I've got my best straw hat and my best prairie I mean, dress on. You look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like I was meant to be on the prairie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Never try it again, just in case it never happens again. Come on, let's go home so we can milk you. Come on. Well, what are you doing? Hi, Teddy. You're just living <laughs> your best life, huh? <laughs> How sweet. Aren't you just a little sweetie? Well, this was a super fun stop. Can recommend, especially if you like animals. <laughs> oh my god. It was so much more amazing than I ever thought it would be. Yeah, but the weather is starting to turn, as you guys can see. But now we're gonna head further out west and hit up a super quirky place that South Dakota is known for. Out in the western hills of South Dakota, just before you reach the Badlands, lies a tourist mecca known as Waldrug. Visiting Waldrug is definitely something you have to do if you come to South Dakota. And while it started as a cafe in a small space, it has kind of taken over the whole city of Wall, and it is just one big epic shopping street now. You can get souvenirs, and you can buy knickknacks, you can eat, you can drink, you can do it all here at Wall. <laughs> Did you Dang, just make that I up? just came up with that. Nice. Oh, 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 wait. The only problem is that it's kind of hard to find. We were actually told that there should be a bunch of signs pointing us in the direction of Waldrug, but we really didn't see any. Just kidding, we've seen 
tons of these babies all over the road because y'all there are about 250 of these signs scattered throughout South Dakota. They're like lovely colorful beacons leading you to Wall Drug. And fun fact, they are apparently all hand painted. This sign in particular is pretty fun because free ice water is actually apparently what made Wall Drug super popular back and I believe the late 30s or 40s they started offering customers free ice water if what a they draw. came through. I know. They to this day still offer that delicious free ice water. All right, back to the store. Holy cow, you guys. This place is nuts. I can't even take it all in. There's so much going on. For some reason, I was not expecting this. I thought it was just the restaurant in here. I did not realize yeah. there were even more stores on the inside. Oh, yeah, my. we're gonna be here for a while. This is awesome. Why wouldn't that happen? Why wouldn't there be a 20 foot tall T-Rex growling at us? There's one last thing that Wall Drug is known for that we are trying before we leave. That is these amazing donuts. You guys, oh, check these out. These look so much better than I ever imagined that they would. So they have this whole area over here where they're working on the donuts and they just have a big mound of them in the back and then they have someone who's just icing them one by one. Chocolate and then vanilla, I presume, and then of course, maple. The donuts have this golden brown hue and then we've got the delicious maple glaze on the top. Ooh wee. It's a cake donut, which is my favorite kind of donut. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good the minute it hits your tongue. <laughs> Confirmed, they taste just as good as they look. The best thing about these donuts is that the inside is super cakey and fluffy, but the outside has all these little crunchy bits on it. So you just get a really nice crunch while you're eating it, but it's also super soft. It is so satisfying. This is the rest of the donut. I'm already eating it all. <laughs> Somehow we are going to resist the urge to finish off these donuts and we're going to be responsible and save them for later. Y'all, welcome to the Badlands. Is this incredible or what? Oh my word. It's also kind of scary. <laughs> Watch where I'm We're stepping We're just gonna here. stay put right here yeah, for this whole spot. long way down to the bottom. <laughs> this area is absolutely mind blowing. It's pure flat plains land and then all of a sudden you enter the Badlands and the ground just like shoots up into this mountainous landscape with all these different layers of different colors of reds and whites. Would you guys believe that 75 million years ago, this was actually a huge sea stretching multiple states? And then over time, the continental plates moved and slowly shifted the earth up and created the landscape that you see today. And that's just so interesting because the landscape seems... And that's just so interesting because the landscape seems so stationary, but it's crazy to think that it's actually changed so much over the years. And because of that, this area is known for having tons of fossils. They are everywhere. There's even a cool little exhibit at the visitor center where you can see them digging away at these little bitty creatures. All right, we're gonna soak in this view just a little bit more, and then we are going to drive deeper into the Badlands. <laughs> Selfish kind of person When a soul tried to fly And to break the laws of nature I learn to love before I die We have our first bison sighting right over there. He is just having the best day ever. He's rolling around in the dirt, putting on a show for us. <laughs> oh my us. God, it's great. Got prairie dogs roaming behind him, birds flying all over. This is great. Nature, man. Yeah, I did not know that we would see one of these today. Yes, bucket list item. You guys, we were just driving around the Badlands area and we came across the hustling, bustling town of Scenic. 
<laughs> Just kidding. This is a freaking ghost town, you guys. We might have stumbled upon a hidden gem. We were driving through, and then all of a sudden, we just saw all these rundown old buildings that I couldn't tell if they were meant to look old or if they were just old, but I'm thinking they're actually just old. Yeah, this one says 1906. The skulls really caught my eye when we drove by here. We'll mark this on the map and link to it in the description below, but it's definitely worth a stop. There's nobody else here. You can just kind of roam around and look at all these old nasty buildings. It's so cool. Plus, the drive getting out here is amazing. Very nice. Probably very haunted, too. Sheep Mountain. It's actually on the opposite end of the Badlands Park from where we were this morning and boy are there fewer people. If you want the whole park to yourself this is the place to come you guys. It's just you and sheep. Yeah yeah <laughs> we saw a bighorn sheep over there that was just on his own on the side of the road and then he jumped off the side of the cliff. Man, it's so cool. so cool now he's just hiding in the cliff side. Check out this view that's before us you guys. Now how about that? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> and earlier we saw this stampede of this small group of cows from up here and we had the sheep off in the distance. Man, it was super cool. That's it for the Badlands, you guys. We have one final park that we wanna see before we leave. And it's about two hours from here. So, and we, as usual, have spent way too much time in this park. So, <laughs> we have to skedaddle. Sadly, it's been so beautiful, Badlands. More like the, the good view lands. Yeah, they should call it the good lands. Yeah. Cause it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. <laughs> You guys, we made it to Custer State Park and we're just doing this wildlife drive and we just haven't been able to really find any wildlife, Doesn't you know? There doesn't be anything going on out here yeah. today. What? Is that a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole little herd of, I'm assuming, wild donkeys out here. But they're very friendly. But this park is so much different than the Badlands. This one is all about greenery, it's mountainous, it's got trees as far as the eye can see. The smell of pine in the air is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, look at this open <laughs> land. I mean, this is incredible. It's beautiful, talk about rolling hills, yeah. man. It looks like the Windows XP uh, <laughs> wallpaper, you <laughs> it know? It does, yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys, playtime is over. We're trading in our van for a different set of wheels. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? <laughs> I guess Eric's going to be doing most of the driving though, so I guess, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! You guys, we are done being on the road. We are officially going off the road. Oh, yeah! All right, into the wilderness we go. Officially disgusting, yeah. but worth it. How about this view, huh? Not Man. bad at all. Oh. And we pretty much have had all these trails to ourselves, guys. It's been incredible. Highly recommend if you come out to this area, rent one of these ATVs. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. We're sufficiently muddy. As you can see, we, <laughs> we hit some proper mud. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I've got dirt in everywhere. Yeah, in so every we're gonna get, crack and crevice. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's still one other thing we're going to squeeze into this video. A yes. must-do thing here in South Dakota. So we're going to get cleaned up-ish. And then we'll see you there. Y'all, we made it to our final stop. Mount Rushmore. We there did it, it is. 
I can't believe we've never been here in our yeah. entire lives. Always wanted to see it though. Yeah. And I gotta say, it is worth checking out. It's actually super majestic up there on the hill. Especially with the clouds today, it's all dramatic and yeah. oh man. And the heads are surprisingly bigger than I thought, or at least up higher than I thought. For some reason, I always picture them really low. Yeah. You could walk they're right way up, up there. Yeah. I can't imagine what went into carving those. It's so high up, it would be so terrifying. It's so technical. No, thank you. <laughs> a job just, for somebody else. Yeah. Also, we didn't realize there's like a whole theater complex here down below it. I believe that they actually do nightly light shows where they like light it up and do a whole presentation. We missed it this time, but next time we'll come back. You guys, that's going to do it for our trip here in South Dakota. We laughed, we cried, well, we didn't cry, <laughs> no. but we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We went from the grasslands to the badlands to the forest land. Yeah. And to be honest, we were completely blown away by the epic nature that they had, the diversity in the landscape. We saw so many animals. We ate so much delicious food. It was a great trip. It was wonderful. Who knew? South Dakota is amazing and beautiful. People are super duper friendly Yeah, too. we didn't have an issue with a single human this nope. entire trip. Nope. And no. usually humans suck. <laughs> South Dakota, home of great humans. <laughs> We're going to link to every single thing that you guys saw us do in the description below and a bunch of stuff you guys didn't see us do. Yeah. So you can create your perfect South Dakota itinerary. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're going to go team up with Nick Cage and take a little expedition inside the mountain. We heard there's gold in them there hills. There's treasure and I'm here for it. Is it national treasure? Oh, is it national? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> All right, this is over. <laughs> Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.